Hello friends, TK this side. The US stock market is quite bullish. In the last episode, we discussed about certain levels and the market has respected those levels. Now, after five weeks of bullish run, finally in the last week, some correction has started. But the correction has been quite shallow because the trend is very strong. So in this video, we'll prepare ourselves for the forthcoming week or upcoming week by doing the technical analysis of S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to determine the support and resistance level which market might respect in the upcoming. Besides this, we will check out the prevailing sentiments in the market and take an outlook of the performance in the past week. Friends, do not forget to like this video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Let's be... How did US stock market perform in the week that has ended on 16th February 2024? S&P 500 was marginally down by 0.42%, while Nasdaq 100 underperformed the broader market index S&P 500 and was bearish by 1.54%, while DGI, that is Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, was almost flat and marginally down by 0.11%. Let us now check what emotion is driving the US stock market. This is fear and greed index against S&P 500 index. Currently it reads at 77. So it is an extreme greed zone. As we know, this is an oscillator. So the possibility of correction in the US stock market cannot be ruled out as we discussed in the last week as well. Because in the last week also, one week ago, it was reading at 79, so it was in an extreme good zone. So whenever this comes to extreme good zone, it's a kind of oscillator which uh, oscillates from extreme fear zone to extreme good zone. It is useful to look at the stock market levels and compare them where they have been a few months back. When S&P 500 is above the simple moving average 125 period, the momentum is considered to be good and it's a positive sign. So if you look on this particular chart, this is SMA 125 period and this is S&P 500. So S&P 500 is currently above SMA 125 and it is distance apart on upside indicating a solid momentum in the US stock market against S&P 500. So this indicator is also indicated that is US stock market in the grip of extreme greed. Now we'll check the put call options and check out the five day average of put call ratio, we call it PCR. Because options are the contracts that give investors the right to buy or sell the stocks or any index. So puts are option to sell while calls are the options to buy. So here the put call ratio is around 0.72 when the market ended in the last week. So it is much below one level. So it is showing that the market is in the grip of extreme greed zone. Now we will check the volatility in the market. Most well known major of market volatility and sentiment is the volatility index. We call it VIX. And this measures the volatility or fluctuations in S&P 500 uh, index options over the next 30 days. So currently it is above simple moving average 50 period. So it is showing a neutral sign because the market is not very volatile. Let us now move to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis. Friends do not forget to like this video. This is S&P 500 index and weekly time frame. The index in the last week closed finally at 5,005.56 5 
thereby it was bearish marginally by 0.42%. But look at the price action. Very strong price action. Earlier all time high was here and there was a bear market and finally beautiful recovery forming a rounding pattern and ultimately there is a breakout of this rounding pattern which is a very strong chart pattern and very reliable chart pattern. So if we consider the move, the depth of this pattern is very, very big. It is around 1300 point if I'm correctly remembering. It is around 3500 uh, level and uh, it has given a breakout when it was something around 4800. So yes, 1300 points. So there is a cushion for this index to move by 1300 point uh, upside. So this is a pretty strong chart pattern. Now coming back to the last week's candle. Look at the last week candle. The bears tried to push the price down, but finally the price recovered and there is a small body candlestick pattern in the last week with a large lower shadow indicating that the price is continuously doing like this and taking support on this moving average of a small period. Now let me superimpose some of the price action. This is the uh, rising price channel. S&P 500 was trading in a rising price channel, lower fiber was a support and upper fiber was acting as a resistance. There is a breakout and so in the last week price although corrected but took support in the upper fiber of this rising price channel. So price expansion can be seen on the price chart of S&P 500. Now if I calculate the long term target on the basis of this breakout the first target comes at 5750 and then it has a potential to move to 6400 so quite a upside move is possible in S&P 500 now let us look at the price action closely now based on the price action this upper fiber of the rising price channel will act as a good support so even if the correction takes place, correction is likely to be shallow in the stock market. That is S&P 500. Now let us move to the daily price chart. What we can see, look at this trend line. Price has taken support here. Price has taken support here. Price has taken support here. So it has a three touch points, which means this is an established trend line indicating the dynamic support in S&P 500. So it is quite in proximity of this trend line. So based on the price action, what we can see, probably it is forming a continuation chart pattern. This is a forming a continuation chart pattern and based on the price action, this was the area of resistance. So 4,957 and then you see this was the area where the price might take support and it is a level of 5,000 which is a psychological level as well. So if I uh, look at the price action. What we can see 5000 to 5017 is likely to be a good support. But even if it breaks below 5000, 4957 will provide a support in the upcoming week. Now look at the price action. This was the last impulsive wave. If I project the target on the basis of this bullish flag breakout, the first target of 5034 has been achieved. So the next possible move of S&P 500 based on this bullish flag breakout comes at 5105. Targets are always notional. Market is likely to make a structure higher highs and higher lows. Whenever the price will get overextended, price will correct in the markup phase of the market. However, the upside forming wave that is an impulsive wave would be much larger than the corrective wave. Now let us move to the price chart of Nasdaq 100. Now we refer to the price chart of Nasdaq 100 in weekly time frame and this index in the last week closed at 17,685.98 thereby it was bearish by 1.54% on a week to week basis. Nasdaq also had a rounding pattern. It has an all time high here. Bear market started and then a beautiful rounding pattern recovery and now price is trading above this important level. So there is a breakout of a rounding pattern which is considered to be a 
reliable chart pattern and this is the depth so nasdaq is also likely to move from this point to like this so there is a great upside momentum uh, possible in nasdaq 100 and it can achieve a very big target in coming time now if you look at the overall price action what we can see this is a breakout of a rounding pattern over here at the same time if you look at this is the uh, point of rejection point of rejection point of rejection and a breakout and this was the rising trend line acting as a support so it has given a breakout of a rising wedge structure also which has a very beautiful base so all these studies indicates that the possibility of nasdaq uh, going towards 21800 is quite possible based on the uh, pattern breakout and even it may go up to 25800 which is nothing but the 100% expansion with respect to the rounding pattern breakout which has already taken place now what could be the potential support and resistance in the forthcoming week let us for that go to the daily price chart what we can see here if you look at the price action this is the well defined impulsive wave and this was a corrective wave and now the new wave has been formed. If we project the Fibonacci expansion level with respect to this impulsive wave, it has attained the first target of 127.2% expansion level and then this correction as expected started. Now looking back to the price action, another level after this correction is over and the trend resumes, then next possible target could be to 18,400 which is nothing but the 161.8% uh, expansion level. To be very precise, it is coming at 18,384. So I am rounding it off to 18,400. Look at this trend line. This trend line is very, very significant. Price has taken support here. Once again, price took support here. Support here. Again, support here. So currently the price is trading quite in proximity of this trend line, which is an established trend line indicating the dynamic support against NASDAQ 100. So what could be the potential support in the next week? Look at the price action. Major support exists because the price had a resistance over here and a support over here with a confluence of EMA 21 and volume weighted moving average 21 period. So 17,500 is a very very strong support however there is an intervening support as well because price has got rejected multiple times over here so this was the resistance area post breakout this should act as a support area so 17600 to 17642 becomes a support area and the price is currently trading quite in vicinity of the upper fiber of this demand uh, demand zone and there is a confluence of this rising trend line which might act as a dynamic support. So overall trend in the NASDAQ 100 and S&P 500 are extremely bullish. Short term trend, intermediate trend, long term trend are bullish in both the indices. Now let us move to the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to undertake the technical analysis. This is the weekly chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. This index in the last week closed at 38,628, thereby it was marginally bearish by just 0.11%. It was an all-time high here. Similar kind of price action can be seen in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Market corrected. It was in a bear market. Sharp recovery with a rounding pattern and there is a breakout of a rounding pattern. So there is a rounding pattern formation and a breakout of the rounding pattern in S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index from the US stock market. So the broader market is looking very, very strong. Now look at the price action. Last week candle has a large lower shadow. What does it mean? That the bears tried to push the price down, but ultimately they did not sustain and the bulls came in action and uh, price got recovered. So now let us go to the daily price chart and uh, let me show you some of the drawings here. So this is the breakout. Earlier all time high it has made was 36,952 in January uh, 2022. 
So there is a breakout. If I calculate the long term target based on this rounding pattern breakout, the first target obviously arrives at 41,900 and the second target comes at 45,700. So these are all on the basis of the rounding pattern breakout. Now let us go to the daily chart to understand the recent price action. What we can see this trend line price support, price support, price support. So this trend line is almost kissing to exponential moving average 21 period and hence this trend line is likely to act as a good support because it has uh, in past also acted as a dynamic support. Now look at the price action. Here is very very important price action. Here is the inside bar formation. So 38,372. This area where the price has earlier taken support is likely to act as a good support and there is an intervening support because this was the area of resistance and this was the false breakout. So 38,500. So we can say 38,300 to 38,500 is an extremely good support with the added confluence of EMA 21 and rising trend line which is acting as a dynamic support. Now look at the price action. What the price is doing? Price is oscillating in this range. So it's a kind of box kind of a structure which is emerging. So if it gives a breakout on upside, the next possible target would be 39,200 and then 39,500. So this becomes the potential supply area in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index while this becomes the demand area in uh, uh, this particular index. Any candle closing of 38,000 928 push the price higher to 39,200 and then to 39,500. So technical analysis reveals that the US stock market is looking very very strong. What do you think whether the long term targets that we discussed for S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100 or Dow Jones Industrial Average Index will get achieved? Offer your comments in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.